Hey guys, it's me, Meteor, and I'm sure we've all heard it before, people telling us that Kirby is a kid's game. I've seen all kinds of people trying to defend these claims, saying stuff like, Zero has a bloody eye, or the stories are dark, or always pointing to the true arena to show how difficult Kirby games are. Really, it doesn't matter what we say. The fact of the matter is, we're not gonna change their mind. If someone has preconceived notions about something, playing defensive about it is only going to make matters worse. For example, what if I told you there was a TV show I liked that reminded me a lot of Kirby? It had a deceptively cute appearance, but has some really good story and some deceptively evil villains. You'd probably be interested in watching it, right? What if I told you it was My Little Pony? I could rant on about the villains in the story for hour, but you would more than likely think that it's still a children's show. And let's face it, it is. Kirby is no better in this regard. I mean, look at it. There's bright colors, happy music, cute scenery, all of this in a platforming game where you can float over platforms. This game is easily geared towards children. Granted, there are a few moments that do seem a bit dark for a kid's game. However, is that what appealed you to the series to begin with? Were you originally wanting to play the game because of these villains? I know personally, the reason why I wanted to start playing Kirby games was because I thought Kirby was cute, and I wanted to see what kind of games he would make because they appealed to me as a child. I mean, it wasn't even until Dreamland 3 where I started realizing these Kirby games had other endings that I wasn't even seeing before. I was just enjoying the games because they were cute and fun, not because of those bosses you see at the end. As far as story is concerned, it wasn't until Superstar Ultra where the stories became really deep. These things were really just the icing on a cake of an already wonderful series. By simply pointing to these things when people ask about Kirby, you're really giving them the wrong idea of what Kirby is really about. Now, it is true that Kirby games, for the most part, are relatively easy for a normal playthrough. Is that really a bad thing, though? Does every game have to be Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze? Does every game need to make you absolutely cringe trying to beat a level? Sometimes people want to play a game just to relax. What's wrong with that? But the beautiful part about Kirby games is that they're never too easy. Sure, you could probably breeze through the first game. However, there's a lot of stuff there for later players who really want to challenge themselves and get through the game to the full. Claiming otherwise is really just pure ignorance. Really, all I'm trying to say is, just admit it. Kirby is a kid's game. Instead of trying to deny this, just tell people what you truly enjoy about the series. Don't be afraid to tell them that you find Kirby is cute or that Fluttershy is best pony. As long as you're honest and the person's willing to listen, perhaps then they may even want to try the series for themselves. And even if they don't, so be it. That shouldn't stop you from enjoying the series that you like. Everyone has their own opinion after all. Now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go play some epic yarn. I'm Stormer out of here. See you guys next time.